D major scale uses two sharps, the C sharp and the F sharp. I personally like to build up from four simple chords, and this is what we're going to start with. Hi, I'm Laura Sagas and I'm the piano professor for Professor.com, and this is how to play piano for beginners. First off, let me introduce you to my favorite, favorite, favorite publisher of books. This is the Bastion Piano Books. I always teach with them. They're great. I love them. They're full of color and they're really, really easy to read. I like the way they progress through the books as well. I use them as a supplement with other pieces, but they're by far the best I've come across. So I'm going to be using pieces by James Bastian as examples of how to learn piano. First off, let's remind ourselves of middle C. So, thumbs up for one, two, three, four, five. Let's so put your thumb, finger one, on middle C. Remember, two black notes down, with the white note to the left. If you look at the piece of music, it says you're going to start off with your third finger. So, where is your third finger placed? If your thumb is on C, find the three. C, D, E. Third finger is going to be on the E. So starting on the E, you're going to go three, two, one, two, three, 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 two, 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 three, five, five, as written on the piece of music. And it'll sound like this. we're going to look at, what are these black things all over the music? Well, these are called crotchets and they're worth one beat. They're black notes that are filled in with a tail going all the way up. Next you'll notice a big black line going right down the middle and they come across the piece all over. And this one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. These are called bar lines and they separate each bar from each other. It also enables you to count how many beats per bar. Thirdly, we're going to notice right at the end of the piece, you've got a big, chunky, thick black line with a thin black line to the left of it and then four little dots to the left of that. That's called repeat marks. And that tells you that you need to repeat the piece. So you go from the first note right here all the way until you get to the end and then you go ahead and repeat it. Right, what else do we notice about this piece? Well, there's some white notes in here. So go along until you see the black notes and then you're going to come on the second bar to your first white note. That is called a minimum and it's worth two beats. Go all the way along until you get to the last line and the very last note of this piece is a white note with no tail. And that is called a semi breathe and it's worth four beats. So, we're starting in at the beginning with your what? Crotch it. Third finger on E with your thumb, first finger placed on middle C. Start with the third and follow. Ideally you would repeat that. So, let's do a recap. Black notes equal one note, one beat. White notes, two notes, two beats. White notes without a tail, four notes, four beats. Black lines going all the way down the page, called bar lines, and they separate the bars. Big chunky black line with a thin black line to the left of it and the four little dots, that's called the repeat marks. So it tells you that you need to repeat the piece. And there you go. That was Lamb at School by James Best. So, I'm Laura Sagers and I'm the piano professor for Professor.com. And this was Piano for Beginners Lesson 1. <laughs>